How you doing, everybody? This is Jonathan King from TheClinchReport.com. I am here with newly crowned King of the Cage welterweight champion, Joshua El Rey Aviles. Josh, how you doing, man? I'm good. You know, it was a tough fight for the first four rounds. You know, David, David was tough. I expected, I expected exactly that. David to come out trying to take me down like he did. There's no, there's, there's no getting around that. He took me down. You know, everybody saw it. Yeah, in the first round he took you down. I think once or twice. Second round he took you down uh, twice. We, it seemed like you were almost anticipating the shot, but you still couldn't avoid it. Are his takedowns that good? I, I think I was over anticipating. Okay. Over anticipation, and he was, you know, he was disguising me very well behind his hands. You know, uh, he throw his hands. He caught me with some good shots, and boom, shoot me. I'm like, damn. You know, he got me on the floor. I was like, damn, I didn't see that one. Damn, I didn't see that one. And once I stuffed it, I was like, all right, I got my timing now. I'm ready to go. Now, once he was able to get you on the ground, uh, your guard was real effective. You were controlling his posture well. Uh, I think he forced four or five stand-ups from the referee. Um, once he had the takedown, it seemed like he was having a hard time getting in, in any sort of striking range on you. Uh, did he ever land anything um, from the ground? Not really. He may, maybe uh, glanced a couple blows on me, but nothing real solid to put me in danger. Uh, like I said, he, he took me down, and he was just trying to control mostly. You know, it just, it just seemed like he just wanted to control me. And uh, maybe he squeaked out a decision. I'm not sure what his game plan was. But, you know, it was effective in the first few rounds. And then once I got my timing down, um, you guys saw what happened. End of the third round, uh, you started to catch him with uh, some strikes. Uh, I definitely dropped him at one point. At that point in time, did you did you think you had him on the ropes? I had my timing down. That's, what, that's exactly what it was. I couldn't get my timing down in the first couple rounds. And once the third round came in, you guys saw it, I, I rocked him. My timing, my hands started coming around, my kicks, everything. So I was able to start getting my timing down. And my shot defense was starting to come around. As you saw, I stuffed his takedown, and it just seemed like once I stopped that takedown, he was just like, oh, shit. You know, but uh, not to, like I said, not to take nothing away from Davis. Davis one tough motherfucker, man. I tell you that much. He absolutely is. Absolutely is. Now, the fourth round. Talk us through the finish. Uh, again, he came out, looked for the shot. You were able to avoid the shot. Get, talk us through the combination. What exactly did you land there? Uh, well, the finishing blow was set it up with a left hook. He dipped down to try to, like, shoot. I met him with the right uppercut, and he went out like you saw. All right, so we are now here with the new set two-time King of the Cage welterweight champion. What's next for you, Josh? Uh, I guess they said November. Um, you saw the gentleman that went in there. Uh, very respectful. Uh, Josh Hinko, he went in there. Um, respectful. Yeah, I usually don't like when people go in there if I'm trying to steal my spotlight, but he went in there respectful. So, you know, all respects to Josh Hinko. Me and him got a showdown going um, in November, so I got to get ready for that. So we have uh, his first title defense will be in November against Josh Hinkle. Once again, we are here with the 170-pound king of the cage, two-time champion. Josh, any sponsors you want to say hello to? Uh, yeah, all my sponsors. Um, I can't think of all you guys right now. I'm so sorry. Uh, but, of course, Xavier, Mass Suit, Max Swirling, Magic Sweat, um, Lumu, Adrian is insurance. Thank you. That's my big sponsor. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm so bad with this. Uh, I'll get better. I promise you. Um, like always, respect to my, uh, my my brother that passed away in 07. I'll never forget you, brother. You were here, but always got you tatted on my arm. I love you. And before I go, I promise my boy Jonathan Neese, I will sign him. Hopefully, he'll be in the bar with me so I can sign him, get a pen. Championship. World Championship MMA gloves right here, folks. Joshua Avios, thank you very much, Josh. Thank you, John. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Everybody, thank you. Kick down at me. I love it. You guys feed me. This uh, is Jonathan King from theclinchreport.com with Joshua Avios. Thank you very much, guys.